Hello, this is Algebra 2, topic 9-3. We're going to talk about circles and the general conic form. So what we're going to do is we're going to take equations of circles and turn them into the conic form so that we can interpret uh, hk and radius. But first, let's get some practice. Uh, x plus 3 squared, well that is x plus 3 times x plus 3, which if we FOIL, first is x squared, outer plus 3x, inner plus 3x, last plus 9, which is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Right. Well, now let's go ahead and factor this. I want to know what multiplies to 36 and adds to a negative 12. Well, that would be 6 and 6. So this would be x. Negative 6 and negative 6, rather. x minus 6, x minus 6, which is x minus 6 squared. So we notice, if I take this as x squared plus bx plus c, and x squared plus bx plus c, b in terms of c is this. If we take 1 half of b, and then we square it, we get c. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, half of 8 is 4 squared. And so we get that this is 16. All right, now we're going to actually put this in practice. We're going to put this in the practice of completing the square. So the first thing is move the constant to the other side. So we have x squared plus 6x equals a negative 8. Because I need to subtract 8 from both sides. And now we put x squared plus 6x plus something equals negative 8 plus that same thing. We're going to leave these blank first. And now we complete the square. Well, this would be 3 squared. And so if I add 3 squared on this side, I need to add 3 squared on that side. And so now that this is x plus 3 squared equals, well, negative 8 plus 3 equals negative 5. And so we have completed our square. Let's do this again. First thing, move the constant to the other side, so I'm going to add 16 to both sides. And that gives me 4x squared plus 8x equals a negative, sorry, equals a positive 16. <coughs> now, because this x squared has a coefficient, I want to divide everything by that coefficient. So when I do, I get that x squared plus 2x equals 4. Now we need to figure out what our other number is. Well, half of 1, I mean, sorry, half of 2 is 1, so this would be 1 squared. And so now here we have x plus 1 equals 4 plus 1 squared is uh, 5. So x plus 1 squared equals 5. And so that's how we complete the square. Now this was just completing the square for the x's. Circles have x's and y's, so we're going to need to complete the square for both. Well, let's rearrange this. Uh, x squared plus 10x plus something plus y squared minus 4y plus something. Go ahead and subtract the 20. Equals uh, negative 20 plus something plus something. 
I've got my X's together, I've got my Y's together. I've got a blank so I can complete the square on my X's. I've got a blank so I can complete the square on my Y's. And I've got blanks over here to match these blanks over there. Well, this would be 5 squared. Uh, half of 4 is a negative 2 squared. And so 5 squared is 25, and a negative 2 squared is a 4. So this becomes x plus 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals, well, negative 20 plus 25 plus 4 equals 9. And there we have our equation. Moving on to example number six. Now here, it gives us the hint to divide everything by three first. The reason being is that x and y both have a coefficient of three. So we divide by three to get rid of it. So we just get that x squared plus y squared minus 6x, sorry, minus 2x plus 8y plus 8 equals 0. Now we rearrange x squared minus 2x plus blank plus y squared plus 8y plus blank equals negative 8 plus blank, plus blank. Fill in the blanks. Uh, half of negative 2 is a negative 1 squared. Half of 8 is a 4. We square it. And so we have negative 1 squared and 4 squared. So this becomes x minus 1 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals, well, a negative 8 plus a negative 1 squared plus a 4 squared equals 9. Now we're going to take a look at example number 7. We have no coefficients, so we can go ahead and just rearrange. x squared plus 14x plus some number plus y squared plus... Well, there are no more y's. This just equals negative 45. Because I don't have any y's, I just leave this as y squared. <coughs> well, half of 14 is 7x, uh, sorry, 7 squared. And so now this is x plus 7 squared plus y squared equals uh, negative 45 plus 7 squared is a 4. And so that is completing the square. <coughs> and we complete the square uh, to get the general conic form of a circle. We will also be using variations of this for our parabola parabolas, hyperbolas, and ellipses later on. Good luck and have a good day.